Welcome to the Classical Homeopathy channel. I'm Bill Gray, your host, once again. This session, I want to focus on acute prescribing. Uh, this is relatively simple. It does not require a great deal of training, as chronic prescribing does. It's something that people can do uh, for family and friends using a few simple homeopathic books. But to explain, I have to distinguish between acute versus chronic conditions. Acute conditions basically are self-limited, something that the body can get over on its own. It may take a few days or a week or something to get over, maybe a virus or a flu or bacterial infection, but it's capable of getting over it. The goal of the treatment is then to shorten that time to maybe 12, 24 hours, or even less. So it's something that the body can handle on its own, but we're trying to assist it. Chronic conditions, on the other hand, are um, symptoms that remain for a very long period of time, even years, maybe even lifetimes, the rest of the lifetime. Um, uh, something that the body cannot get over the symptoms are an attempt on the part of the body to heal, but it's not able to accomplish it all by itself. It needs the stimulus to stimulate the body to heal itself. And that's what homeopathic treatment does in a chronic condition, and it's very effective for both acute and for chronic. But it takes a great deal of training to do the chronic prescribing because it takes into account the personality of the whole person. Acute prescribing is a lot simpler to do. Uh, first, I want to, let me explain the difference between acute and chronic in using back pain as an example. There are um, people who have back pain that is chronic. It's a weakness that is always there and it doesn't take very much to produce it and to cripple them and it become disabling and it goes on for years and years. On the other hand, there are people who are basically healthy who when they're traveling and they're putting their baggage up in the airplane compartments uh, at an awkward position or they are moving and they're lifting heavy weights that they're unaccustomed to, um, they can get an acute back pain which is like a spasm that takes maybe a few days or a week of rest to get over on its own, but then they're healthy and until they do something extreme like that again, they don't have that problem. That would be an acute back pain as opposed to the chronic back pain. So when we're treating an acute, the focus is not so much on the holistic, mental, emotional aspect as we talk about for chronic. Uh, we focus mostly on the acute symptoms. If it's um, mental, emotional related, like panic attack or anxiety that's an attack rather than a chronic condition, then of course we focus on those. But let's take back pain as an example of, a, of an acute condition that we can treat um, simply and, and acutely by just focusing on the symptom itself. So what is the sensation? Um, where is it located? Does it um, radiate? Does it wander around? Does it come and go? And what makes the difference in that? Is there a time of day or night when it's worse or better? Um, does application of heat or cold make it worse or better? Um, are there certain movements that make it worse or better? Or maybe continued motion makes it better over time until more fatigue sets in and it gets worse again. All of these are unique symptoms that can be looked up in books. What we're looking for is the most strange, rare, and peculiar symptom that um, stands out and can lead us very directly to the remedy. And then home prescribers are very used to finding remedies that are common and that they can get in, the, in their home kits or in local pharmacies, um, remedies like Nuxvomica for hangovers or 
head or heartburn, indigestion, um, or uh, hebarsol or belladonna or chamomilla. Uh, these are common remedies that people who are brought up with homeopathy and are used to acute prescribing. These are names that are very uh, uh, common to them. And what the way they're treated then is they get the remedy and they take the granules. Usually this is uh, granules or pills. Um, take it maybe every 15 minutes for an hour, then every hour for six hours, and then maybe three times a day or so for the next few days. And that's a very common pattern. Usually acute prescribing, if the right remedy is correct, we'll get them over it in a matter of hours or overnight. Nowadays, we have a new in innovation um, where these, the uh, analytical process for acutes can be systematized into an expert system that can be put on computer and uh, um, you can use on your cell phone. And even more importantly, um, because remedies, as you know from other videos, remedies are actually forms of energy. They're not a substance, they're not a chemical substance, they're forms of energy. Turns out that these forms of energy can be made into MP3 files, which have been done and then can be stored on a database. And using the expert system, um, they can, the you're just by answering questions on a cell phone, you can answer the questions, the answers then get analyzed by the expert system, and you can literally play that, that remedy on your cell phone um, as an MP3 file. It's a hissing sound, but it has a unique frequency that belongs to that remedy, as described in some of the other videos. This works for a variety of acute ailments, um, everything from influenza, fever, cough, back pain, um, bladder infection, earache, and even more serious complaints like uh, malaria, typhoid, cholera. In malaria, we already have a pilot study in Sierra Leone, Africa, uh, that's proven that 110 people are free of fever and chills within two to three hours um, out of 111 total people just by playing the appropriate cell phone um, e-remedy um, on the cell phone they, it relieves their symptoms. For those that are interested in doing this um, the, you can go on any digital device to eremedyonline.com eremedyonline.com and just follow the instructions there the price is uh, five dollars by PayPal uh, uh, they do not do um, credit card but PayPal works for most people and it's being used all over the world for the last several years and it's quite effective for acute ailments so um, acute prescribing is quite simple and direct and um, easy to do for uh, lay people even and as as you know we can do it on cell phone so um, next I want to discuss what it's like to under to um, experience a, a, a chronic consultation and that's a much more elaborate thing so I'll see you next time